Hey everyone, I have something very cool to share with you, a brand new update to ZimWriter that's going to allow you to do something very cool that was not possible before. If you've been listening to what I've said in my previous videos or you've been in my Facebook group, you should know by now that, that fairly soon I'm releasing a completely free course on how to create a news style WordPress website from scratch. We'll go through the entire process, but a news style site requires articles in a news format. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is the bbc.com. And here's a news article that you would typically see. You have a title, like an H1, you have an image, and then you have your article, maybe with some links in it and stuff, but there's no subheadings in here, all right? There's no H2s, H3s, H4s, just your title, your image, and then your article itself. With ZimWriter, this was not possible before. You'd have to create different subheadings for your outline. And there's problems with that particular approach. Maybe the article didn't deserve subheadings. There wasn't just enough to talk about. And in situations like that, you have the AI kind of rambling on for a while and just adding filler information that's not relevant uh, when something like this would be much more appropriate. Now with ZimWriter, you can create this style of article. And it's not just useful if you're like, I don't have a news site. That's okay. This style of article is useful for a lot of other situations. I don't know of them all. I'm sure you might have your own specific use case, but yeah, this is good for news articles. It's also great for press releases or product uh, releases that your company might be doing. So there's a lot of different use cases outside of news for this style of article. So to create this style of article, you can go into ZimWriter, update to the latest version, and all you have to do in the bulk writer is select zero H2s, all right? It's that easy. You can also do this in the Penny Arcade. You can select zero H2s. Then after that, we can disable our intro and we will not enable our key takeaways. And then we'll enable a featured image like Flux Ultra and that's it. All right, now you can obviously configure your other options too, like new AI words, bold to help readability. And then you'll put your news article in here and you'll write it. You'll get something like this. So this is an article on the California wildfires and you'll have your featured image, your title, and then your article. And you'll have some like links in here, some bolding in here. But yeah, this is the type of article that doesn't need a full blown outline. Just give me a couple hundred words on what's going on with the fire. And that's really all you need. You can find this article if you want to just read it for yourself. You'll go to this site, AIblogpostwriter.com. You'll scroll down, click on 0H2, and it will take you to this, this category right here. The settings I use to write these articles is listed right here. And I use different settings for each one. So that was the first article right here. We just have our featured image, our title, and then the article itself. And here's another example of that. Uh, Tech giants help Europe fight online hate, but home front falters. So here's our featured image. Here's our title. And then here is the article itself. I use deep research for this, which is excellent for news style articles. And these are all links out to like authorities and sources for this particular uh, topic. So this article right here is a little bit different. So we have our featured image, we have our title. Now we have an intro, our key takeaways, another image, which would be our subheading image, but then we don't have a subheading. We just break right into the article itself. So to create something like this, we'll go inside of ZimWriter, we'll have our zero H2, we'll enable key takeaways, we'll enable one of our intros, let's just do a search intent intro, and then we'll, say every h2 we want a subheading i know we don't have any h2s but to make this image right here we're technically creating a subheading even though we're we're not so you would say every h2 and then you'll choose your model for that like flux ultra or something and that's all you got to do and you'll get something like this again you'll get your title your featured image your intro your key takeaways this subheading image and then just our article itself a couple hundred words now the word count for no h2s and then also for a single H2 is going to be dramatically boosted uh, versus all other situations. By default, our section length for medium is going to give us maybe about 400 words, assuming we're using like a powerful model like Sonnet 3.5 or something like that. So medium would give us about 400, long would give us maybe like 460, short would give us like 300 or so, and then tiny is like 200 or something like that. Obviously, every link that's added is going to be a new sentence, so that will add more words if you're using a link pack or your deep research. So that's this article right here. Now, we have another article here, Magnetic North Pole Shifts Again, What's Behind the Movement. So we have our featured image, our title, an intro, no key takeaways, a subheading image, and then our article itself. So to do this, it's just like the last one. We have H2s of zero, search intent intro, this image down here for our subheading, even though we don't have a subheading, 
and then we don't enable key takeaways. And that will give you this article right here. We have another style over here. We have our featured image. We have our title. We have our intro. We have our image down here. We have our article. And then we have a long FAQ. So to make that, we'd simply go over here and do, what is it? Uh, long FAQ. And then this, this last one over here, we have our image, our title, our article, and then we have a short FAQ. So we'll turn off this and we'll do short FAQ. So there's a lot of different combinations you can do now with ZimWriter to, to have all kinds of different layouts for your articles. Very powerful. Definitely check this out because not all articles need a full-blown outline. So this is uh, very powerful if you decide to go this route for some of your articles. Now, the last thing I want to mention in regards to this layout is it can actually save you quite a bit of money if you are using deep research. Inside of deep research, you have to select one of the, the perplexity models, whether you're going through Open Router or Perplexity's API itself. Whenever ZimWriter makes a call to the API, it costs money. If you had like an outline of 4H2s or 5H2s, those are five separate calls to the Perplexity API. But with this format, it's only making one call for the article for this main content right here. Now, the FAQs are separate calls, okay? But for this section right here, it's just making one call to the Perplexity API to get that research data. And the Perplexity API is significantly more expensive than other AI models so, because it's an online model that actually goes out to the internet and does a research. So using this particular format, if it suits your particular niche, can actually save you quite a bit of money. So something to definitely think about and maybe test out, investigate a little bit. But yeah, that's the update right there. This is a really cool update. If you're excited or you have any thoughts or comments or questions, just drop them down below. Other than that, like the video, subscribe, all that great stuff. Join the Facebook group. There's over 14,000 members in it. And then also be on the lookout for this, this news course that's coming out soon. It's going to be awesome. Very cool. I'm really excited about that. Other than that, good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.